Hello everyone and welcome to another installment of Aaron's Book Club. I have my new phone which has the um, video that isn't the best but it's what I have currently so I'm going to try to do a book review with you guys today. It may not happen because I'm currently having an issue with our cell phone provider, <coughs> Bell. Um, in that we're not getting the speed of the net that we used to get. So it's been very hard to upload anything to the point where the last two books that I've read, I've had to do um, with uh, Storygraph with no video because the internet said not today. Anyway, <laughs> let's try to get this book review done. So the book that I read is A Girl and Five Brave Horses by Sonora Carver as told to by Elizabeth Land. So, if any of you guys have seen the movie Wild, Horse, Wild Hearts Can't Be Broken, this is apparently the book that the movie was based on. And after reading the book, I have to say, I felt real cheated um, because the movie was very dramatic. It was very... Um, love interest this, melodrama that, everything was kind of played up. There were things that were flat out untrues and weren't even mentioned that I thought would make a really good movie. Um, so I'm really happy that I read the book, but I'm very disappointed in the movie. So it's basically about a, um, I'm going to say suburban girl or farm girl who decides that she wants to uh, go in the industry of diving horses where back in the day this used to be a source of entertainment is you would run these horses up a 40 foot ramp where they would then jump off the 40 foot ramp into like a six foot deep pool and the horses would willingly do this and this entire book is on the story of how she got into it how she got to love it and what happened that caused her to lose her vision and in the movie it's some big dramatic somebody spooked the horse so she landed funny and yada 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 where in the book it was basically she went into the water the wrong way because she was trying to not overbalance her horse and she didn't get to, to close her eyes in time and that caused her eyes to take all of the impact which caused her eyes to actually start internally hemorrhaging and detached her retina and she goes through the process of trying to recover from that and uh, what the doctors wanted to do for that and she even looked into how she stubbornly refused to go to the hospital which probably would have saved her vision if she had gone right away it just it was such a good book it was such an honest book that i think that if the movie had done a better job following the book the movie would have been much better um, instead of this melodrama that it was compared to the book. But all in all, A Girl and Five Brave Horses, I'm very happy I picked this book up. I really enjoyed reading it. And all of my horse folk who, who do enjoy riding or who have ever watched Wild Hearts Can't Be Broken, pick this up and read the book. Do yourself a favor because the movie is pittance compared to the book. But that's all I've got to say about that. And let's pray that I'm able to download this or upload this or whatever. Get it to YouTube. Thanks very much. I'll let you know when I have another book read.